Hey, y'all, contraband, back at it. Uh, of course, the train's coming, but I'll just sit here and talk louder till the train goes by. I got the front door on. It's about 60, 65 degrees. I just got back from the grocery store, and I still sweat. But I uh, want to show you my food haul. And uh, I didn't buy very many things. I, you know, I, 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 I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things at the grocery store. I thought I'd done pretty good. Eight different things I bought. So let me show you what I bought. And uh, hang on, you're going for a ride. I don't know if you can look out that door right there and you see that train trestle he goes by several times a day where's it at but that's how close I live the train track it ever falls off up there I'm in deep trouble let's go over here I'm going to do this by my hand. I'm sorry. It might be shaky. I got those uh, evaporated milks for a dollar a can. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got me uh, three two pounds of cheese for uh, $8. It's three ninety nine a pound. Pretty good deal, I thought. The uh, cauliflower was uh, $0.69. Cents. Out of the produce buggy, reduced a dollar thirty-nine each for those two packs of uh, bell peppers. There's four each in there. I got my jars for nine ninety-nine. The uh, canning salt, I don't remember. The canning lids was uh, two sixty-nine and a dollar ninety-nine, I believe. And uh, y'all wanna? Uh, remember that movie Baby Boom where the lady moves from the city with her baby and she's out picking the apples and she looks down off the ladder and there's like 40 bushels of apples there and uh, she said well that should be enough to make an apple pie well I bought enough cabbage that I may I don't know for sure but I may be able to make some sauerkraut. So let me show you how much I got. I got two big boxes and they're stacked completely high here. And that is 100 pounds of sour, or, uh, cabbage, which will turn into sauerkraut. But uh, these are big old boxes. I'm sorry. Big old boxes down here. And I'm figuring about 50 heads, maybe more. Sorry for the wiggly video. Let me put it back up here and I'll yell at you for a minute. Well, still ain't right. That'll work. Uh, I got my kraut, my cabbage for my kraut. I got 10 pounds, or uh, 10... Uh, Five gallon buckets over there uh, to put my crowd in. I've got uh, a great big dish pan full of uh, pork butts already uh, diced up in there in one inch chunks. I'm fixing to start canning. This uh, cabbage can wait a while. And uh, I'm just going to wait on the cabbage. And uh, probably, I don't know, next week, week after. Uh, maybe after I get back from Christmas. I, it ain't going to ruin. Uh, but I'm going to do my pork butts up. I, I've got uh, two in the freezer, two cut up, and six more in the fridge that i got to cut up. i got jars now. i got lids. Kitchen's still clean. Uh, thanks to my prayer for angels. And after that, I can sit here in front of my computer Cut up my coleslaw, slide it right off in a five-gallon bucket. I bought me uh, some uh, more canning salt, pickling salt. And uh, that's what I used to uh, ferment my cabbage with. 
and life's good in the country man's house. I've got uh, if you lock the doors, don't turn off the water. I'm going to run out of bread and flour, but I'll be be able to eat for two months. I ain't going to live like a king, but I mean, I've got plenty of pork and sauerkraut. Uh, I've got, uh, what, four or five of those uh, corned beef in there. I'm still going to can those up, too. So, tis the season for canning. It's cooled down. Uh, it helps on your heating bill, you know, instead of uh, turning your heat on at night time and knocking the chill out. Uh, Fire up that 23-quart pressure canner and see how fast you break a sweat. That's what I plan on doing. I'm going to, yeah, I'll be fermenting this uh, cabbage for probably a month or better, maybe two, because I'm doing so much. And uh, after that, it'll be January. Hey, what better way to heat the house than with a 23-quart pressure canner full of uh, sauerkraut? Hey, put that on the shelf. Uh, oh, man, I eat it like candy. Uh it's good. i tell you what I did do. The, the short bus driver that dropped me off, he said, my mama used to make homemade sauerkraut the whole bit. He said, man, he says, I sure do miss that. I said, I'll tell you what, dude. I said, you porch my groceries. He had these two big 50-pound boxes of uh, cabbage to plug up a uh, 12-foot of sidewalk and, and drop on my porch. I got a big concrete front porch. And uh, then I had my two buggies over there. Where they, one was full of uh, cabbage. The other one was full of groceries. And he put them up on the porch for me. And I came in here and uh, I give him two quarts of my sauerkraut. And you want to talk about a happy camper? He walked away with a smile on his face. I, you couldn't have, if you give the man uh, a $20 bill, I don't think he'd been as happy. Because uh, it made him think of his mama. It made him, uh, he says, I'm going home and make me some uh, great white northern beans and some cornbread and have my sauerkraut. He says, I'm going to eat good. And I said, that's, that's the exact same reason why I do it. So I made him happy. I'm happy. I got a lot of work to do. And, you know, they say in the wintertime you get uh, cabin fever and everything. Well, this cabin is going to be rocking with cooking and canning for the next uh, four or five days for sure uh, with uh, the uh, pork butts. And then I've got all this cabbage to shred up. I got me a big bamboo uh, uh, cutting board. I got my sharp knife. I just start cutting it. I wish I had one of those mandolin deals. I was talking to Swamp Rat, and he told me how to make one. And... If I get a nerve enough and I get enough wood, I may make my own. He show, he told me how. And it's a pretty cool deal. And it's just, you know, a couple boards and a, a good sharp knife. So we shall see if that's an upcoming video or not. But I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Uh, just a short food haul of what I'm doing and what I told you I was going to do. And, you know, just verifying that I wasn't lying to you. Merry Christmas to all. God bless. If I can do it, anybody can. Country man out for now.